In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to solve an equation. First, let's ensure we're totally clear about the term equation. Notice that the first four letters in the word equation are EQUA, just like equal. This is a good way to remember that an equation always has an equal sign in it. We've been working with variables, for example, x in an equation representing a value or set of values, and sometimes these variables have been in algebraic expressions. Algebraic expressions don't have an equal sign. Algebraic equations do. We need to clarify the difference between expressions and equations as we move into solving, as you can only solve equations. You can't solve expressions. So the next question, how do we solve these algebraic equations? The equal sign is actually quite central to our solving process. If two things are equal, for example, if two sides of a scale are equal, they are balanced. Consider, what could you do to both sides of this scale if the only rule you needed to follow is that the scale stays balanced or equal? If I add 3 to the left, what would I do to the right? To keep it balanced, I'd have to add 3 to the right. And there, it's back to equal. If I subtract 2 from the left, what would I have to do to the right? Again, the goal is to keep it balanced. So removing 2 from the right would accomplish this, and we're back to equal. If I triple the left side, that is times by 3, I'd have to do the same thing to the right and that would keep it balanced. If I half the left side, that is divided by 2, I'd have to do the same thing to the right, and again, it would be balanced or equal. If we keep this analogy in mind, then solving is quite easy. Example 1. Solve. x plus 3 equals 9. We could actually do this one in our heads. What plus 3 equals 9? And you can probably determine that 6 is a value for x that would make this true. Given that, it's a good starting point to establish some process. x plus 3 equals 9, and our goal here is to get x all by itself, or isolate the variable. At this point, we can see that the x isn't by itself. It's the plus 3 that's keeping it from being isolated. Thus, we have to get rid of that plus 3, and we can. Like our balance scale, we can subtract 3, as long as we follow the rule of keeping it balanced or equal. If we subtract 3 from the left, we simply have to subtract 3 from the right. Draw a line here and see where we're at. On the left, x plus 3 minus 3 leaves us with just x. Perfect. And on the right, 9 minus 3 leaves us with 6. So x equals 6. We've successfully isolated the variable. We can always stop here and see if the process worked. That is, we can plug it back into the original equation. x plus 3 equals 9. Replace the x with empty brackets and substitute in our 6 and see what we have. 6 plus 3 indeed equals 9. Confirmed. Example 2. Solve 2x equals 24. Again, our goal is to get the x by itself, isolated. To do this, we need to get rid of that 2. And the opposite of multiplying by 2 is dividing by 2. So to keep things equal and legitimate, whatever we do to the left, we also do to the right. So we divide both sides by 2 and draw the line. On the left, 2x divided by 2 equals x, so we have the x by itself, as planned. And on the right, we have 24 divided by 2 equals 12, or x equals 12. We've successfully isolated the variable. Let's check our answer. That is, plug it back into the original equation, and we replace the x with empty brackets, and then substitute in our 12 and see what we have. 2 times 12 indeed equals 24. Confirmed. 
In this tutorial, we've begun our look at solving algebraic equations. Our method is to isolate the variable. That is, get the x all by itself on one side of the equal sign. We found that to do this, we simply need to think about the equation like a balance scale. Whatever we do to one side, we do to the other. If we do this strategically, we can end up with the x by itself. One last thing we found was that we could confirm any solution by simply plugging it back into the equation. Thus, we should be able to avoid any mistakes in our solving problems.